Welcome YouTube to episode 2 of The Dream here with Damien. We obviously are at Liverpool as it's the dream job and in 2029 we have a few things happening in and behind the scenes. Before we get into the first game against Swansea, we'll go through all the transfers that happened on stream yesterday. We'll go through, maybe recap a little bit what you know has been happening on the stream in terms of dynamics. I'm going to ask a couple of questions and then we're going to get into the Swansea game. The first thing I'm going to take a look is the club balance. We were obviously 1.9 mil in debt. We now have made 46 um, mil. So one thing to note that Liverpool weren't making a, weren't making a turnover at all, and they lost 10 mil last season and were losing money rapidly um, because they weren't making um, European football. Um, and their spending was very very high. We've cut that down drastically. 25% um, of the transfer revenues made available um, only to us. So a lot of the money that we sell is going back into the club, which is needed, um, and we need to start getting the club turning over a profit. Um, in terms of why we are starting maybe a day earlier than the Swansea game is this page here. I know a lot of people probably would like to read this page. I have myself, um, I've read it a couple of times, I think that it's quite a nice read. Um, so if you want to give it a pause and read that one, that is fine. In terms of the, um, give it a pause. We need to give it a second to pause. There we are. Um, um, look, I have nothing to do with that, considering I'm always focused. Um, we're just going to get through the uh, press conference fairly quickly. You have to do them because me, uh, Liverpool's um, chairman was like, you have to improve me to him and we'll, we'll sack you. So have to do it. Um, I have a team available for this match. I'm confident we can get there. The players are looking forward for that one for a while. Brad's absolutely important. Some players are young, but we don't care because they're good enough. I'm very confident in our ability. Um, I want to get up to the game of a win. We had a great pre-season. Yes, I'm happy we just get through the press conference. I'm mainly happy we can put down the rules, transfer options. He's one of the biggest talents is Pulky, and I'm going to put the pressure on Liverpool to make sure that they're good enough to do what they need to do and get into these top four or five spots. There's obviously games playing on at the moment in the Champions League. What we are going to do is we're going to get into the transfers and what has happened here. We're going to get to the transfer history. Um, there's still transfers that could be done, but we're going to go from players out to players in. Um, there we go. Uh, the first player that went out was James Clayton. Look, a player that we didn't really care. You know, we sold him for a little bit of money. Um, my head of youth development did that one. Um, it's worth noting that Bernardo Silva was listed from us and we got a loan offer for 100% of his wages for Valencia. Just could get the wages off the book. Um, his pace and all that lets him down. He could have been a decent centre attacking mid if we really wanted to keep him around, but I just didn't like the pay, lack of pace, the 35-year-old. And if we could have got a cheeky formula, it would have been okay. Um, if we go back to it by order, um, Paul Lopez was a player on um, 200, um, 200 and something K a week. Um, 205k it was never going to start for us. We did bring him in a first choice goalkeeper like we said that we wanted to, um, and it's not Paul, it's not Muta by the way. There is um, a new kid on the block, not Muta. We didn't go, go and chase HK. We only signed one former HK player. I'm pretty sure you can see it over there. Um, but yeah, Lopez wasn't really good enough for us. Um, that was going to be our second choice goalkeeper as well as Dos Dalo went out. Look, he could have been okay for us, but you can tell by the scout ratings that he's not really at our level. Um, and if we want to challenge the Europe, you know, we need better goalkeepers. Liverpool in the past have had problems with goalkeepers. He's just signed Allison, which I think is fantastic. Um, and I think he'll be world class for us, um, which is good. Um, but Dosto went up. We then got more or got a 60 mil bid. We are paying a little bit of his wages um, as well for the move that happened there. Um, but um, look, at 31, it was just good to get 16.5 mil all up front straight away. Um, we'll get it into the coffers. Um, Calvo did move for 28, um, 28 mil, um, no fees, no nothing, just 28 mil. He wasn't going to play for us. Uh, as you can tell, he's only a useful, you know, decent player. Um, he would only be a useful signing for us. So to get 28 mil was absolutely standing. Um, Lazic then moved on as well, the Serbian. We were never going to play him. We've obviously got um, first choice striker, and there was a youth prospect here that we'll talk about as well when we get into the starting 11. Um, that I think is going to have a very good year for us. And there's Ben Woodburn here, even though we'll get into player happiness in a second. Um, Lazic there to get um, the money we got, which is 30 mil all up front. We're paying bugger off his wage as well. I think we're paying like 20k wage. He was on 140k for us, something like that. So to get him out of here was quite good as well. And then last but not least, Carlos Augusto. We got 46 mil from Juventus for him. Um, I think we got 41 up front with clauses that will hit 46. Um, look, he, as much as he looks decent, he's not good enough for us if we want to challenge. Um, he's not going to be second choice, he'll be third choice. And if he's going to be third choice, I didn't want him sitting here on this 200k wage. We just got rid of him and got him off. Um, played three times for Brazil, but I don't think he would play for Brazil right at the moment. Victor Hugo, who we did look to sign, went to Chelsea for 60 mil, didn't want to come to us. On the ins though, we have signed some players, a um, couple of players that our youth picked up. Um, we only signed two players for our first team um, because of the wage and because of the money and the finances. We went out and got what we needed, which was a star goalkeeper and a star left back. Everything else was okay for us. And I feel like that if we can get keep our players that are quality right now, like Santa Maria, um, 
Ben um, and Beneviot um, will be okay. Um, Preston just looks really solid, and I actually didn't mind that our um, eighth development guy went in for him because obviously three stars good for the league. So if he grew into that as an Englishman, you keep him around because he's good for the um, transfers. Um, Jose Dramilio or Jose, as I'm just going to affectionately call him, we're just going to call him Jose, set nickname. I'm going to call him JJ, actually. Jose Jamillion. on JJ in goals. Um, JJ just looks sensational, the Colombian wonder kid. Um, the 17 or 18 mil um, was his um, transfer. Um, he was transfer listed. He had like a 24 mil release fee anyhow. Um, so we just quite simply picked him up. Um, in terms of comparing him to Muta, he's six, just slightly taller than Muta. He's got great aerial reach and command of area. And he's got great handling, kicking, and the one-on-ones are out of this world with the reflexes. He's got great positioning and decision-making and decent determination, which I would actually expect to grow up. Um, we, everyone that we've signed wants to make the Champions League next season, which I'm happy with as well, because that's where we want to be as well. Um, he's got great shot stopping, and aerially he's pretty good as well, um, with his um, jumping reach being 16. So I expect him to keep going and to grow as well, and he could be world class, a world-class goalkeeper. Oh, he's already um, a leading goalkeeper for the Premier League. The last one is Centeno. We signed Centeno. Um, he did choose to come to us. When we left it last episode, we knew that... Um, Arsenal just put a bid in we left it then on the stream Chelsea and Juventus went in for him his agent then said Centeno really wants to come to Liverpool can you increase your offer we said yep have 215k with as much k as you want after so many games I can't remember what it is but it's going to happen that is for sure um, maybe not um, yearly wise we don't care look he's sensational world class he had a 100% scout rating he's the best player at the club um, he is if you go to the club screen is sensational and that is the player we're going to be. Um, in terms of the lineup, the lineup's going to be this. It's going to be um, for day one. It's going to be JJ and Goals, we saw. Um, Con um, Graham there looks decent. We're just going to set his nickname to Graham because I cannot press Con Gurkon. Um, that just sounds wrong. So Graham's going to be there at right back. Graham looks sensational. He's a um, star, as a leading Premier League player with a world class potential at 23. Ollie's very good, the 27 year old. He looks decent. I'm very happy with him. Um, He's wanted by City. Um, he is a leading player and a good player, that is for sure. Um, in terms of um, Florian there, or Asfima, um, the vice captain, he's very good leadership and very good player to have in and around the squad, but he's only three stars. He's only a good player. Um, we don't mind it, but you got Ian Koki, who's already sort of at that level with decent potential as well, and if he hits that potential, he would be a good player for us. But then there's also Marshall, who's the 19-year-old, and he has potential to grow into a very good player for Liverpool. Um, you expect to see them featuring as well, Florian, whoever's in the most form will play. We've got to give Florian the chance, because he's a bit more of an elder head um, to play in this role. Centeno's obviously going to play left-back, we know about Centeno. Martinez is still here, the Argentinian with... Um, good um, leading potential and good world class potential. He's upset that he can't. I didn't sell him because he wants to play in the Champions League. But we obviously he will get rid of that because we are going to go and make the Champions League. Um, Bell on the other side probably um, we don't have a natural deep line playmaker that can break up play. But Bell definitely looks good enough to play um, advanced playmaker on attack. The Englishman, as much as he's only three star, is sensation. The right areas, passing, vision, technique. He's got great long shots, first class free kick taking is great. Good flair, good pace. He just looks sensationally all rounder. Does the um, Adam Bell, and he will be playing back the line um, to allow Santa Maria to play in his natural spot at centre attacking mid, the world class Spanish um, centre attacking mid. Ben is playing on the right hand side. As much as those are looking down, don't worry. He's an elite winger with great pace, great acceleration, crossing, dribbling, first touch. Um, Decent passing for a winger, but he's off the ball and flares. An attacking winger is absolutely sensational. Ben Ben Yacht on the other side, he looks absolutely sensation. Um, pace, um, acceleration, work rate, dribbling, dribbling, um, dribbling, uh, dribbling, crossing, first touch, and he's got good flair and off the ball. Um, the French international, wanted by um, Barcelona, I'm pretty sure. Um, look, 190 mil, 200 mil at least for him. We're going to go with Sayers up top. Now, Sayers doesn't look quite the best of players. He's only a good, he's a leading player apparently, which is great. Freestyle is usually good. I just think as a poacher, just look, 15, pa uh, 15 finishing, very good composure. Um, acceleration and pace is like unreal, and he's got decent strength as well, five foot nine. Um, he's also very good at headering the ball. Um, he's got um, okay passing. He advanced forward's not really his role. Um, could play as a complete forward, but I really do like a poacher. Um, he moves into the channels, and with that pace with the, in the channels, he definitely can break a line or two and beat the offside track. On the bench, we've got Trent, um, Ian Cokey, who we highlighted before, um, that is for sure. Um, De Silva, who can play everywhere. Um, um, Ali Essor has a world-class potential, and expect to see him playing in and around the squad. Apparently, he can be tutored here by um, Ben Viot. Um, Ben Viot is really good, but his determination is oh, the same. We can do that, that is for sure. Um, get Ben Viot the 
you know, do it. And they're happy with that, that is for sure. Just getting learning some of his player traits as well, Alessio, before he becomes a first-team regular. Sergio signed a new contract, and look, if we if we sold um, Santa Maria, he would have played Shadow Striker. He's just okay, he's not great, he's got good potential. As being English, he's important to keep around. Ben Woburn, who's very unhappy with us, is going to be on the bench. He wants to move, he wants a new... Um, he wants a new challenge. We did have a contract offer, except um, we did have accept the fifty mil bid from Monaco for him uh, on deadline day. He then said, "No, I don't want to leave to go to Monaco." And I'm like, "Well, you got your chance." And Bradley Ward, who I think is going to be quite a little gem. He's 19. Um, if you just look at his poacher stats, he looks got good finishing, decent composure, great pace, great acceleration. His pace is lacking. He's got decent determination. I just like the finishing and the dribbling um, at six foot two, and he's got good passing. He's definitely more of an advanced forward than what um, Sayers would be. I just think off the bench, get him some game time, get him up to three star as quickly as possible, and he would be sensational. He's wanted by Backburn on loan, but look, he's going to be sitting on the bench and doing us a favour. Um, Curtis Green's going to be backup keeper at 18. He looks pretty good. Um, we obviously probably um, should highlight Guedia as a left back. That's very good to keep here as a backup as well. And Paolo Montero, Montero is a player that I want to get in the first team as soon as possible. The wonder kid from Portugal, 38k Liverpool signing for. He's going to be absolutely amazing. Great pass. He's a good deep line player. He's got good tackling. I'm almost tempted to give him in this mold. Martin Sells, we probably just put him straight in because he's a natural deep line playmaker. That is for sure. But that is going to be the Liverpool team to play on the um, first day. That is for sure. We will sim. We will sim to the. Swansea game in just a second. We'll cut to that now. I won't save you the clicking and all that. We'll get to the Swansea game as quickly as it possible. Hopefully you're enjoying the dream so far and hopefully you're enjoying the little start that that was there with us going through the team. What has happened? Who we sold and who we bought? Do you like our transfer dealings? Let me know in the comments. We'll cut to the game like that in just a second. Welcome back YouTube to the second well, to the second little part of episode two here of the dream. Um, we cut to the uh, Swansea game. Um, we have made one change to the bench. I bought Paolo on. He just looks sensational. I can't not put him on the bench. I actually really wanted to start him as well. But we're going to give Martinez, who stayed at the club now, a chance to be happy. Um, the 81 mil Argentinian. Um, I just really like that he's really good at tackling and going a bit more, you know, not bad. Um, it's probably worth training him to get box to box. Um, we are doing that already. And we're just going to get straight into the game here as well. Um, Ian Koki wants a number. We're going to give him number 17. There we go. Um, backup center back on the bench um, and we'll get into the game that is for sure um, Swansea side would be decent we are going to go through it there um, Martinez looks decent Kostic straight out the left back looks pretty good as well Dead Zolic um, looks okay at center back but not great um, hopefully Sayers can give him a little bit of a run around so he doesn't have to be on the page Ilic the 20 old Serbian looks pretty good but as playing in his unnatural position at center back um, Robles there, the 30 odd Spanish. Um, we got Benny Ott on that side, he's really rapid, so hopefully we can run at him. Um, they're playing 4 2 3 1 as well. Tosillo there, he's a veteran midfielder, but he's a bit slow. We do have players that like to break from deep um, from in, in this system. Um, they got Callum Grubin playing one line back, which I don't mind because he's a bit more better further forward. But P. Lena goes into that spot and he looks pretty good. His passing's not that great, but apart from that, he's alright. Um, Coelho there out there, the Argentinian has got decent speed. Um, he's just a tricky little winger, but not thing that we don't have. Hume there looks pretty good. He's quick, um, the 25-year-old Englishman. And up front, they got Calabres, the Italian, who looks sensational on paper in terms of finishing and first touch, good composure. And look, as much as that's 59 rated, you look at the stats as a potion, he's absolutely unreal. So he will need to make sure we do a good job there. Obviously, we're set up as we are. We're going to just give him a pep talk and just go out there and have no doubt why we should go and do what we need to do. Have faith in us. The lads aren't going to really respond too much to us at the moment because obviously we are new to the club. Um, there we are. We're just going to do what we do at HK and put them onto their weaker foot. Um, and there we go. We're going to get straight into it. The tunnel, um, it's a special day. I can't wait to get started. Um, I'm focusing on what we can do, obviously. Here we are at Anfield. That is correct, Anfield. It doesn't look like Anfield. They've probably done some... Um, you know, the building here to make it not look as much like Anfield. But we are at Anfield here. We're obviously in our red. It's a proud moment for me managing Liverpool in a YouTube save, you know, being there, my, my club. We normally wear the um, Liverpool stuff, but we got coaching in about half an hour. We did just get out of bed to record this episode as well. Um, we have to do that before we, um, we get um, to coaching, of course, as well. Dominating possession, we are playing the 4 2 3 1 system. I've all, as I've said many times, we prefer to play the 4 3 3, but in this system, I feel like Liverpool at home should be quite good at pressing, winning the ball, and creating chances. And we are, we're having 10 shots for on target. We haven't seen one though, and 65% possession. And finally, a highlight here as Graham gets on the ball there, finds Bell. Bell now 
finds it back to Graham, the um, star right back. His ball inside the bell is there. We're very good at going forward and Bell there with a chance. He lays it off to Centeno, the leading world-class um, left back. Here we go. Lennon, oh, it was brilliant. Brad has done well. The world-class left back Centeno from HK got down the byline, loves bombing forward in this system, gets on the ball, he chips it back post. Ben Lennon gets on the ball there. It was sensational. Um, Bell gets on it, finds Centeno. Centeno there, back post. Ben gets on it. Good touch there. I don't know if he's actually meant that touch, but he sells the keeper there. The keeper's out of position, and then he knocks that one in the world-class um, English left, um, um, right attacking midfielder there, the elite winger. Um, good to see Centeno bombing on and getting an assist on his debut for Liverpool, his league debut, that is, as well. Um, and there we go. Um, Florian's been booked, but playing okay-ish. Um, I don't mind bringing Koki on at some point later on in the game. Only one new up, but dominating possession in that... Um, and dominating shots. I'm just going to go out there and tell them, look, lads, um, don't get complacent out there. Um, Santa Maria looks um, stressed. Just look. Still looks stressed. That's okay. Look, someone's come out injured. That is really weird. He's having a problem. Stop the game. He's having a head injury. Calabres has come onto the field and then gone down. We've just gone and kicked off like we don't care. It's probably just a weird glitch. There we are. Bell gets on the ball now. And Bell's still on it. Still with Bell. Still with Bell. Still with Bell. His ball out there to Graham. Graham can put in a good ball. It's a decent ball back post. Ben Viotz there. He's hit the bar. Illich clears. And maybe they can go on the break here with Julio. Lee Mina there. His ball out wide. It looks for Hume. And Hume's going to run it out the fence. He's got decent speed. He's got numbers in the box. Here they go. The ball was cleared there by Florian into the stands, which is good. When I say into the stands, it's cleared out of the box. Nearly get hit on the break there. We go and hit the bar. I'm Bar at one end and nearly go and concede on the other side. Both my centre backs on bookings. I don't like that one little bit. Um, I'm going to pause. I don't like that one bit at all. Koki's going to come in here for Florian and we're just going to get him as a defensive centre back. Just go out there and do your job, mate. Um, there we are. He might hoof it a little bit more than what we want, but at the same time, it's okay. Just get out there and don't get booked. Um, you watch Oli get sent off now because we've done that. Um, De Silva can go and play there at centre back, but we won't mention that. Bell, though, he's bullying, headed away and only headed as far as Graham, who finds Ben Viot. Ben Viot from distance! Oh, it wasn't too far. Keeper was scrambling to get down to his left hand side. And we are still 1 0 up here, 67 minutes played. Um, Tell us what we're going to do is Martinez is looking unsure, and we know that Montero is a bit more defensively minded in this role. He can play on defend, and we will get in there to hold that position. Just be a little bit more defensively minded, the Wonder Kid, and we're going to watch time tick away. Hopefully, we get home and do win the game. 80 minutes played. Um, it's a corner. Ben's ball in. It's headed away, but only as far as Say as the approacher. Say is plays into Santa Maria. Santa Maria looks to, for a pass and finds um, Ollie Woodwin, finds Bell, finds Montero, the Portuguese Wonder Kid. Finds Bell. Bell, can he beat his man? He goes inside the Santa Maria. Here's the pass by and Sayers. Sayers has got to get there first time. And the poacher there with his not preferred right foot has scored. Makes it 2-0 Liverpool. It's been a complete game from Liverpool. We finally go two goals up against Swansea. You were always getting worried when it's Liverpool and the only one go up. But you will concede late doors. We just probed the spaces so well here. We didn't panic. We moved the ball around as well as we could in between the lines there. Santa Maria first time unlocks the door and finds Sayers who gets there before the keeper and knocks it past him at the front post. In terms of what that means for change-wise, we're going to get um, Alessio on um, no we're not um, we're going to get Bradley Ward on just up top as the poacher um, get him some growth get him some game time make sure that he gets some match fitness as well um, not 100% fit but we can get him up there that is for sure and we are going to get into the full time whistle very shortly but we maybe Bell free kick from distance hits the wall can we go and just get the ball Montero can he get on at the Portuguese um, wonder kid his ball down the line does find Ben Ben now can he whip in a ball of quality his ball of quality is there but clear but only as far as Connor um, Graham, he does get there. Well done, Graham. Come on, Graham. Ball back inside. Finds Monte Montero. His ball finds Santa Maria. Santa Maria now finds a good ball out there. Centeno's already got one assist. Drops the shoulder. Can he whip in a good ball? He doesn't, but will he get back on it? He will. We're probing the spaces lovely, lovely in between the lines. Finding space for our fullbacks as the wingers tuck in. I'm loving it, that is for sure. And Ben gets on the ball. Ben beats his man. Into the box. Down he goes. That's a penalty. It is there. Ben's going to take it, the um, elite winger. He's got a good penalty stat. And Ben will step up. Can Ben finish? Ben to make it 3-0. Oh, he's gone straight down the middle and the keeper saved and it's a corner. I feel like that's always a problem with me. Whenever I've managed Liverpool, my, my off saves, like four, FM14, I did one with Liverpool and I did one, um, you know, just as a nice home save and FM8 and Lord and New Signers did a one-season save. 
um, of you know off my laptop, not on stream. Um, always miss penalties, no matter who took them. Um, Martinez is going to pump this one long. We're going to win our first game, 2 0 against Swansea here. I don't think there was really any injury to really talk about. I'm just going to tell him I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. Most of the lads look happy. Most of the debutants had a very good day out. Um, when we move into sixth place here, as we are the, one, the last game to probably be played, um, we hammer Swansea. Centeno gets man of the match on his debut. Um, going to get in there. There we are. Um, I'm happy we got our first round. Since we didn't have much luck in front of goal today, um, it's just one game. Um, he was absolutely outstanding. He was Centeno. So it ends his goal drought. I'm very surprised he has a goal drought because I honestly think he'd be sensational for us. Do I do is say us. We're going to save the game there. That's going to be the episode end of episode two of the dream, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around for episode three. In terms of when it's going to come around, I'm thinking that we're probably going to um, play quite a few games in the Premier League. Um, we might make it like next month i'll try to bring you maybe like a game a month um it means we'd probably be um with the premier league running over a year's sort of span probably be roughly 12 games it depends obviously as well um we can take a quick look at it as the game saves i'm just very conscious that you know football manager occasionally crashes for me and we, I, I would be gut-wrenching the crash and then not have the save there as we will get into saving game it will end and we will maybe take a look where we're going to meet next um if we have a look um we got Watford next which we should win it should be Ipswich as well Southampton Bournemouth and Cardiff there I'm thinking we'll come back for the Man United game Man United would be interesting we might do Man United Everton double headed the two derbies back to back United at home and then Everton at Goodison Park um Goodison Park should be very nice I think that's going to be next episode. Join me then for the Man United Everton game. This is David signing off for episode two. If you've enjoyed the um, episode, please give it a like. It does help. If you um, are new to the channel, just subscribe. There's going to be more. Um, the dream is coming out. We've already made up in our mind that once we've done everything we want to do with Liverpool, we won't stay here too long. Um, three, five years max. Um, we would then probably go off to like, like Valencia and try and get them to win the Champions League and the... Um, and the Spanish be, uh, Spanish League, um, you know, you start doing stuff like that. If you're into that sort of stuff, go and um, subscribe and keep an eye on the YouTube channel. We obviously stream all our um, saves live on Twitch, so obviously follow us in the description below in the Twitch link. There's also a link to our Twitter and to our um, and to our Facebook as well, where we um, do a lot of updates, a lot of live stuff, put a lot of snippets out of what's happening in the save. And so if you want to keep updated, follow that one as well. This is Damien signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and keep up to date for when episode three comes out. Have a good one and goodbye.